Hello everybody, my name is Man Ocean. I know it's a very stupid name, but I'm going to show you how to get the JDK, set the environmental variables, and also compile and run your first Java program. So the first thing we want to do is open a browser. You want to type in Java JDK. And then you're going to go to the first link. You're going to click JDK right here. Boom. And you're going to go accept this license agreement of this top box. And right now you want to decide, or not decide, you want to find out what kind of operating system do I have? Do I have a 32-bit or do I have a 64-bit? If you have a 32-bit, you get the x86. If you have a 64-bit, you get the x64. Since I have the 64-bit, I'm going to go ahead and download that one. Boom. And the reason why I'm really doing this video is because when I was trying to learn how to set this up, I watched a lot of videos and they weren't very straightforward. They were complicating things. Uh, I was having trouble setting up the environmental variables properly. It just wasn't working and I was getting frustrated wanting to give up on even getting this whole thing set up. And then I contacted a friend and he helped me find an easy solution. So I'm going to show you guys the solution that I was taught. And I think it's much easier than anything I've seen on the rest of YouTube. So, hope it helps. All right, file is done downloading. We're gonna go ahead and click it. Boom, run that executable. You're gonna wanna click yes, and then you're gonna want to just click next, next. It's going to start the process of getting ready for the installation. Might take a little bit depending on your computer. I have an SSD, so it's not taking that long. All right, we're going to install this to C, program files, Java. Okay, that's all good. Just remember that. And it is now installing. Do, do, do. Very patient. <laughs> All right, there. You don't have to click Next Steps. You just click Close. And now we're going to set up these environmental variables. On Windows 7 and Windows 10, it should be very easy. You just type in E-N-V-I-R-O. And then you click the option that says Edit the System Environmental Variables, which is also found under System Properties Advanced Environmental Variables. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just add these two variables. The first one's going to be called Java underscore home okay in order to find the value the value that I need to put there I'm just gonna find the path to my bin folder so we're gonna go C program files Java JDK 1.x.x point point X underscore XX and we're gonna go into the bin and we're gonna click the top up here to highlight the path to that location now I'm gonna control C to copy it, and I'm going to post it right here, and that is going to be my Java home, baby. That's home base. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Now, what we need to do is we need to set up the path. Type in path, all caps, and the path is just very simple. It's percent Java underscore home, percent. And that's it. That's all you need to do to set up your environmental variables. I'm going to click OK, OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run a program. The first thing we need to do is make a separate play, make a separate spot for us to put our um, .java files. So I'm going to go here, make a new folder. Just going to call it Java lowercase. And the reason you're doing this is because you don't want to put the .java files anywhere near your JDK. Just don't do that. Make them separate locations. That's why I'm making a separate folder for them. I'm going to go in here, but also make a folder called SRC, you know, because I like to keep things organized. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a text document, a text editor. I'll just use Notepad for simplicity's sake, just for you guys, you know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Java Ranch and just use their example program from the FAQ. 
And that example program is called Moose Greetings. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is, usually you wanna type out the code for any program you're making, especially when you first start any program, but for time saving sake, I'm gonna copy and paste it, boom. Okay, what I wanna do is, I wanna save this program and this location as a .java. So I'm gonna go file, save as, computer, C, lowercase java right here, not program files java, but just my lowercase new java folder. I'm gonna to go to SRC, I'm gonna save it as moose readings dot, I'm gonna change that to all files, I'm just gonna type dot java at the end. And it's gonna boom, it's gonna put it right there. And it is a java file now. So I can exit this notepad, and then I can open a PowerShell or a command line to uh, execute the program. So I'll open a command line. I, I usually use PowerShell, but just for you guys, pop the command line out, no big deal. So I'm gonna do cd slash, and it's just gonna take me to my C directory. I'm gonna type, uh, I'm gonna type cd slash cd space slash java slash src, and that's gonna take me to my uh, it's going to take me to this directory up here with that contains my moose greetings.java. And here I am. So what do I do next? The next thing I do is I type J-A-V-A-C moose greetings. So JVAC, J-A-V-A-C plus this file name. And we're going to press enter. What it's going to do is it's going to create moose greetings.class. And what we want to do now is... Uh, run that class file. In order to do that, all we have to do is type at the end of our C Java SRC, type Java space dash class path dot moose readings and then press enter and it'll say moo. So there, we compiled our first Java program. I'm so proud of you guys. Amazing. Anyways, I hope that uh, solved any questions people have or made it more clear that this is actually not as complicated to do as some people make it. And uh, I just hope it helps people. Thank you and have a great day, everybody.